sorry, I've been gone the past three days, uh, vacation, surprise vacation, um, and uh, now I'm back. So anyway, so back to the action. What you see here is Tesla, and we can see it is making new lows. It's around 114, and I'm going to continue to look for it to go lower. It might have a little bit of support around this area. This was a a low point right here 109 so it's got a ways to go but I think it's going to keep going lower the fair value I would say is right under 50 in the uh, right around 47 the low 47 dollar range um, it's extremely overvalued and um, the only thing that works in its favor are there are a lot of shorts in this but on the flip side you got Elon Musk selling as much as he can so, so we could buy Twitter. So we'll see what happens with it. But uh, it's good to see that it's it's way down. Um, nobody deserves it more than Tesla. They're getting a lot of competition, and uh, yeah, um, they're extremely overvalued, as I've said for years now. Um, so I'm a broken record. Um, let's go to silver. And then we'll hit the cryptos. We're still hanging around the $24 mark. I am going to continue to look for a pullback down to here to the under 21. And that $20, 80, 70 cent range around there. I think we'll get that. Uh, we might continue higher. Uh, maybe we'll get up to the $26 range. We'll get a pop up to there. But ultimately, we're going to look to go back down to those that level here before continuing higher, in my opinion. Um, I kind of repeated this because I've had people continue to ask me the same questions. I don't mind. I can repeat myself. Um, but that's where we are with that. Now let's go to Bitcoin and take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is basically just continuing to stick around that 16,700 uh, 800 range um, now let's go to where's the other chart here we go da, 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 da. you know where my positioning is on this it's very simple um, I don't know why I have a weekly on here that's silly do, 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 do. Now, do, 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 do. I'm looking for the 15,800 number on the downside and I've got nothing to really do with Bitcoin but wait for it um, and then below that the 1456 14,056 uh, now that's going to be around the 80% mark uh, I believe might be a little bit lower by a few hundred dollars but around that area and um, that's a key area uh, now this is a bigger major support zone. Even if we go below it, it's still going to be a major support zone. I don't think it's going to last a long period of time. Um, I do have the hedge short from here, from 18K. And you can see, again, that this is a resistance zone. It's held up twice. It was tested that one time here. And then looking for the target back at 15,800. Um, now let's go to Ethereum resistance up here. It's also me meandering around the 1200 mark, uh, just as Bitcoin. And again, I'm just continuing to look for downside. I think we'll get another push down to the 1K mark and maybe even lower than the, those lows. Um, and that's all I can do is continue to wait for that to occur. Uh, now, on the bright side, we have XRP. XRP is showing some positive volume and looks like there's interest in it. And that's interesting. Um, so there might be good news in the background. And you know what I'm doing with this. I'm just, I bought and hold and I bought and bought and bought and added. Um, it's my top three holdings besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I believe that we're going to make a bigger move in the future. And now this type of volume is definitely positive. 
if we could break this area right here, which is resistance, right around this 37, 38 cent range, um, we could get a move back up to the 40 cent and above, and all the way back up to here, and maybe even test the 41, 42 cent range. Um, but the price action is very positive on this, and the volume is definitely indicative of something going on. So. We'll see if there's good news. It's kind of bucking the trend of the market. Um, so let's watch that one and see if uh, something develops here. Now I did get asked about uh, Cardano. And Cardano is just meh, but it's got a good uh, possibility for reversal just off of this. If you take a look at this right down here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's make that blue. This is not a bad pattern for reversal. Boom, 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 boom. We've seen this before in others. Kind of saw a similar pattern in silver. And it did trade up a little bit up to the 26 cent range, uh, all the way up to here, but it's very tight. It's not really anything real interesting. But there was your support and your pattern break right here. And, you know, if we can get a bigger move that goes all the way up to the 30 cent range, I wouldn't be surprised in it. Cardano's has some positive price action. I've noticed some interesting uh, buy orders in this area down here and even back here. So um, the, the way that it's printing on the tape looks pretty good uh, for future moves to the upside. Kind of similar to um, XRP. Um, another one... Uh, is uh, Solantana not very favorable? Continues to get downside volume on uh, uh, you know um, off of this current break that we have right here. It's very symmetrical in nature, but it's just too much downside volume. It's almost as if somebody has bad news or knows something going on in it. And let's take a look at that. Doo -doo -doo. It's kind of channeling on down the line here. And let's go back. So if we look at that right there, kind of negative. But uh, for the future at some point, I believe this will be a one that will stick around and could make a big comeback in the years to come. But longer term. Um, another one that's also on the downside that I've seen right here is Dogecoin, Dogecoin, and it's just holding steady around that seven cents mark. Maybe Elon will say something, but I think he's kind of busy with Twitter right now. <laughs> he's got his own issues he's got to deal with um, from his really, really bad business decisions. Oh my God, who, who would buy Twitter at $54 a share? Maybe 20, maybe 20, in the low 20s uh, at the most, but $54 a share. He overpaid huge. And then he gets all these woke idiot employees who are just going to give him a hard time. Um, wow, he's going he's gonna to have to fire tons of people and they're just going to be trying to sue him left and right, you know? And... Uh, <laughs> I, you got to feel sorry for the guy, but uh, hey, he now owns Twitter. He can do all kinds of crazy stuff and keep making life interesting for the whole world, I guess, in a weird way. Um, don't look forward to that, but that's that's what's there. Uh, let's take a look at Litecoin. Litecoin had a move up off of this. This is also a similar pattern that was that we saw that was similar to what we had over on um, that Cardano. But let's go over and look at this right here. And it did move. Good volume reversal. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's move on the other line right here. And very symmetrical too. Very symmetrical. And then pulls back from the break point here, comes in, gets really nice congestion, then pops up. 
So a test up here would not be, um, I would not hold that out of the cards. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Litecoin's been very positive. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I think people are saying, you know, they're going back to the old school um, top cryptos. And I think uh, Litecoin has been way oversold. So that's why people are putting their their bets back into that, which is ironic because then you have Ethereum Classic and it's not doing that at all. People are kind of doing the reverse and the volume over here looks really kind of pathetic. Um, but there were points where it had big spikes up and uh, great volatility. Now it's just really settling down and just being kind of dull. Um, these spikes down here with these big candles to the downside not pretty, not pretty at all. Um, one of the ones I do like is Link. This is basing. The volume is, uh, it's got some interesting volume over here. If we see short term. So this is actually kind of positive, more positive than I was expecting, but uh, it also has some spikes in here to the downside. So we'll see what happens with it. But, you know, in the future, I think that you're going to see this back uh, way above, you know, seven and, and numbers above there. Right now, we're just in a kind of a blah phase. Uh, so there's not much you can really look at. Um, oh, let's go back to Tesla. Tesla's making new lows and it keeps cratering. You could, you know, I would not be surprised if you see a $20 down move in one day on this uh, because I think people have gotten the, the idea and, uh, you know, they're looking for the exits because the valuation is just not there. And uh, we'll see what happens, but it's not pretty. It is not pretty at all. Uh, nothing is pretty in the whole crypto space. There were a lot of People are just like in blah, but you get Bitcoin holding its own, and um, so that's a good sign. Uh, yeah, let's go back there. So we'll see what happens here, but again, you know what I would be really looking for? I would be looking for the numbers to the downside. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. There's nothing to really see outside of this. It's kind of the holidays and things are very flat right now, uh, besides Tesla being down, which is the most interesting. And that's the one that has the most, um, ability to really sink and just get buried is the only way I can put it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have happy holidays. We're kind of in a strange week. I'm going to do some more educational videos. Market-wise, there's not really much to talk about. I'll do the two videos. You know, I'll do another one at the end of the week, probably Saturday. But, man, it's, it just looks really, you know, we're going into New Year's, so uh, we'll see. It's just kind of blah. Uh, but, again, I, I'm expecting more downside than upside, and I want to see that 15,800 mark hit on um, my uh, Bitcoin so I can close out that head short that I have. I think that's going to happen. I think that is going to happen. How quickly? We'll see. But there we are. I'm looking for it. So flatlining, really unexciting. And if we break here, and that target is not far away. Um, so we just need the uh, acceleration to the downside. Anyway, um, that's it for me. Again, I'm going to be working on educational videos. I'll talk about dollar cost averaging and psychology, some of the things, you know, um, that uh, to help you help calm your mind from trying to do stuff when there's really nothing to do. Uh, that, that's a big key. Um, so I'll talk to you later. And again, I hope everybody's had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays or Hanukkah or any of the, the
the holidays that we have. There are plenty of them. <laughs> um, and I will talk to you later in the week and probably in a couple days with the educational videos. So keep an eye out for them and talk to you soon.